Hello, my name is Will and I'm a first year student studying international business at Leeds Beckett University. This is my blog about my interpretation of Jet2's marketing. This will include understanding markets and customers as well as the macro and micro environment and how that affects Jet2. Jet2 is a British low cost airline, mainly based at Leeds Bradford Airport in England. It has a fleet of 59 aircraft and operates 200 scheduled routes from 9 UK bases and 1 Spanish base to 58 destinations across Europe. You may be thinking what marketing actually means. Well, marketing is the activity, set of institutions and processes for creating, communicating, delivering and exchanging offerings that have value for customers, clients, partners and society at large. Jet2 have marketed their company to make it a very well known brand over the past years. For example, they have used a lot of advertisement such as their television and radio adverts. This has gained them a lot of publicity and made them become a very well known low cost airline. This leads on to market orientation, which is when organisations place the customer at heart of all its business decisions and they are set to embrace the marketing concept. This can have a lot of benefits to companies, for example, it can lead to an increase in sales and market share. It can also lead to a company having loyal customers, therefore they can gain more repeat business. Market orientation occurs in a lot of businesses around the globe, but not in all. I think the Jet2 is market orientated to an extent, but not all of its decisions place the customer at heart. For example, they are a low cost airline, so the price side of things, they really do care about the customer as they want to make their flights as affordable as possible in order to keep them satisfied. However, on the other hand, they may make some decisions that do not place the customer at heart, such as their planes are very basic and are not as nice as Virgin Atlantic or British Airways, so they provide the cheapest cabins as possible so they do not have to spend lots of money on their aircraft. Next, I will move on to talking about the macro and micro environment. The macro environment is major external and uncontrollable factors that influence an organisation's decision making and affects its performance and strategies. These include economic factors, demographics, political and social conditions, technological changes and natural factors. First of all, there are lots of economic factors that may affect Jet2 as a company. For example, exchange rates. These can influence whether people from the UK decide to travel abroad as they may not be able to afford to go abroad if the pound is very weak, as they will not be able to get many euros or other currencies for their money. On the other hand, if the pound is strong, then this may encourage people to go abroad, as they will be able to get a lot from their UK money, and therefore will be able to purchase and spend more in another country abroad. Another economic influence that may affect Jet2 is interest rates. For example, if they are low, then this may encourage potential customers to borrow money in order to fund their holiday. Also, it may influence Jet2 to potentially borrow money for themselves in order to expand their fleet or something else within the company. However, high interest rates will stop Jet2 from borrowing, as well as the general population. This means that the cost of borrowing will rise, so people will have to pay a lot back in return for the money that they have borrowed. A political factor that may significantly affect Jet2 is the decision that the United Kingdom will be leaving the European Union. This will affect Jet2 as they offer their flights all around Europe. So this will mean that the price to travel will increase for customers as taxes will be placed to go abroad. This may lead to more of the UK population choosing to go on holiday outside of Europe. This will be bad for their company as they will need to expand their flights to outside of Europe, which could be very costly to them. Another political factor that may have affected Jet2 as a company is war and terrorism that has been occurring in countries recently. For example, the conflict which has been occurring in Turkey recently will have put people off visiting the country which is a destination that Jet2 offers a lot of flights to. This means they have had to cancel some of their flights going there and had to place special offers on their flights so they are a lot cheaper in order to attract customers to still fly with them to these destinations. There may be also environmental factors that may affect Jet2 as a company, such as the amount of fuel that airplanes consume and what this does to the environment. For example, 80% of the CO2 emissions are from flights that are longer than 1500 kilometers which is a lot of Jet2's flights. This may lead to governments or pressure groups trying to push through caps on the amount of emissions that aircrafts can let into the air. This could lead them to having to look for alternatives for their planes in order for them to fulfil the legislations that may be placed. This could be very costly for airlines like Jet2.
This leads on to technological factors that affect Jet 2. For example, they face intense competition from other airlines, so they need to adopt some of the latest technology that there is. For example, the advancement in aircraft technology can result in lower fuel consumption. This will improve the efficiency and the cost of Jet 2's operations, and will leave them with more money to spend, whether this being through expanding the company or lowering the cost for customers in the future. A social factor that may affect Jet 2 as a company will be the social changes that have occurred in recent times, especially in terms of service, as customers have become a lot more demanding. Therefore, airlines such as Jet 2 need to consider a lot of factors in order to meet the increasing demands of the industry, such as stabilising their costs as passengers are becoming more economically minded. Also, the improvement in communication facilities means that business class passengers may not need to fly down for their meetings, so the amount of Jet 2 business customers may have reduced. Therefore, they will not need to accommodate for them as much as they did before, but they don't want to completely reduce business class in their cabins. Next, I'm going to talk about the macro environment, which is factors or elements in an organisation's immediate area of operations that affect its performance and decision-making freedom. These factors can include their competition, customers, distribution, employees, etc. For example, how Jet 2's employees are can affect them as they sell the flights and packages and then provide the service on their aeroplanes. It is important that they are experienced and motivated employees working for them as it will lead to having economic success. On flights, if the crew are disrespectful to customers or do not seem to be motivated, then this may lead to customers choosing not to fly with them in the future and they could give them bad reviews on websites online such as TripAdvisor. This is because they all operate in the same industry and are all low cost airlines, so Jet 2 needs to have a plan of how they can differentiate themselves from these airlines, whether this being the standard of their cabins or offering flights to more destinations or other factors. Due to the large number of competitors, this indicates that there is a significant demand for their services, so there is always potential business out there for Jet 2. They need to ensure that they avoid any negative publicity as this will put customers off flying with them, which would lead to them losing a lot of market share and their customers using alternative airlines. Thank you for listening. I will now display the references that I have used to help me make this blog.